What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for another live Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle against a subscriber slash follower on Twitter. Today we are going up against TJ in a UU battle. We're going to be bringing the same team as last time which I will go over here in a second but a few things before we get to that. Uh, of course first just a friendly reminder if you would like to show your support uh, before we get started today uh, you can do so by clicking that like button right below this video or you can leave a suggestion down below. Uh, any set that you think that maybe I should try out or you know just give a go any Pokemon you would like to see specifically uh, I've been going through the comment section a lot this week and breeding a bunch of things that uh, I saw from what you guys have been suggesting recently so uh, yeah keep the suggestions coming I really do uh, enjoy getting all the different ideas and uh, the last thing I want to go over before we get into the team here is uh, for those of you that have been asking for battles in the comment section, I don't take them off of YouTube, and I also don't just take random requests off of Twitter. Basically, when I'm looking for battles from trying to test something or looking for a recording, I do just tweet out uh, when I'm looking for specific battles, so the only way you'd be able to get in on that is uh, if you're following me on Twitter. Of course, I do other stuff on Twitter, too. I discuss um, all kinds of different sets and ideas and competitive things and random stuff, and also a lot of nonsense, so yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about that. We should probably go over the team here, as uh, we have Choice Banded, Mian Chao. We have Physically Defensive, Vaporeon, which is going to be our Cleric as well, because uh, I am carrying the Wish and the Heal Bell. Uh, then we have a Utility Crobat with Max Speed and Max Attack, but it does have the Defog in case we have to deal with Rocks. Doesn't look like we're going to have to here. Uh, actually, just kidding, he has a Don Fan. Forget that I said that. Uh, then we have Specially Defensive Trevenant, uh, that is Lumrest, Choice Specs, Porygon Z, which is ridiculously powerful, especially after a download boost. And then we have our Crocodile, which I'm going to lead off with because it has Taunt and Stealth Rocks. And that's going to be perfect a perfect matchup if he decides to lead off with Donphan here, because I can Taunt it so he can't set up Rocks, I can set up my own Rocks, and I can Spin Block with Trevenant. So that's pretty cool. Uh, looking at his team, uh, he's got quite a few lower tier threats that I don't have, which is kind of strange. Normally, if I am building a UU team, I have like half the team be NU, <laughs> um, but that's not the case. All of my Pokemon are actually in the tier, which is kind of strange, but those are the, just the Pokemon that I wanted to use, so that's what we're going with. So he does lead off with the Don fan, so we get the Intimidate off, and uh, we can just taunt this thing right off the bat. I'm kind of tempted to just set up Stealth Rocks, though. Um, because, I mean, it doesn't hurt his team too much, but he could have a, he could have a Focus Sash on that Lucario, which kind of worries me. So, getting up Stealth Rocks is important, but also taunting this thing, I feel like that's just going to be the better play. So, we're going to go with that. Uh, and he may just switch out here, because there, he has to know there's not much he can do. Because, I mean, yeah, if I get up Rocks, he can still Rapid Spin, but... EQ is not going to do much. Knockoff isn't going to really help him. So, yeah, he is going to switch out. I think that's his best play there, honestly. And he's going to go into Meganium, uh, which pretty much walls this Crocodile for the most part. As I'm going to taunt it. So, he can't go for Leech Seed. He can't go for Screens if he has that. Uh, he can't go for Toxic if he carries that. But I don't know if I want to stay in on this. I don't know that I do because... But it's a pretty good stop to the Don Fan and... I could, I could need that Intimidate later on if that Lucario is physical. Uh, and actually, it could work for the Floatzel, too. Although both of them just kill me, the Intimidate is nice. Let's see what I want to go out into here. Crobat is a good switch. He can't really do anything to me other than Dragon Tail if he carries that, and not all of them do. Um, I don't think Vaporeon is a good switch. I could go out into Mianxiao, too, just to threaten him out. Uh, with a Choice Banded U-Turn, but I'm not going to do any of that. We're going to kind of play it safe, at least for right now, and we're going to go right into Crobat, as he does show off the Dragon Tail. So that does minimal damage, and Crobat's going to get forced out, and we're going to be forced out into Mian Chao. So that actually kind of works out, because I don't have to take any damage on this. Uh, it is Regenerator, which is uh, kind of weird, I guess. Because on a Choice Band set, a lot of times I like to run Reckless just to increase the power of High Jump Kick. But I went with the Regenerator. Uh, it helps get rid of any kind of uh, residual damage. 
stealth rock spikes, all that kind of stuff. He does go into the Don fan, so we're going to break this thing sturdy, and we're also going to get to see if he has lefties. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. And he does not have lefties because he has the Rocky Helmet. We will recover off that damage, so that's great. And now we have a free switch into basically whatever he wants. Kind of tempted to go into Vaporeon because he does not want to be scalded. Although if we do burn something, that Meganium is still at full health. And if it has Aromatherapy, that was just a giant waste of time. So the only other thing that really checks this thing is Porygon Z. And if I go out into it here, um, I'm going to get the special attack boost from download. So that's really tempting. I know it's early in the match, but he doesn't have too much that just wants to come in on that. And if he, if he leaves it in Tri-Attack, I'm pretty sure just kills it from there. Because with the Choice Specs and the Download Boost, we're essentially at plus two. And plus two uh, from a Porygon Z with base 135 special attack, Tri-Attack is going to just kill everything, basically. I would not be surprised if that did a solid 80% even to Lucario, which resists it. Lucario was frail, so that was probably a bad example, but you know what I'm saying. It should be a 2 at KO on Meganium, too, even if it's specially defensive. So I'm not worried. He does just leave this thing in. This is dead as anything. Yeah, that's just gone. Goodbye, Don Fan. So he no longer can spin. So if I get an opportunity to go back into the Crocodile, I can set up Rock safely now. Doesn't really do too much to his team. But the one thing I was worried about is Lucario coming in for free, and that's what he's going to do right now, which I do not like. But I actually, I should outspeed this thing, because I'm timid. Base 95 speed, Lucario I think is base 90. So, our, the, I'm thinking I want to switch, but I'm also thinking that my opponent is thinking that I'm going to switch because of the bad matchup, and he may try to use that opportunity to set up uh, something. I don't know if he's physical or special. He could be Nasty Plot. He could be Swords Dance. Most of them are Swords Dance because SD Extreme Speed is kind of scary. I'm kind of tempted to go into Crobat because I do quad resist the close combat, which I would expect here. But I think I want to make a play. And that play would be to predict him to Swords Dance or Nasty Plot, whichever one he's carrying, and to go for the Tri Attack. Because at least I'll break a Focus Sash if he has it. And he does go for the Nasty Plot. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been terrible if he just killed me there. That's playing a little bit recklessly. I'm not going to lie. Because if he just killed my Porygon Z there, that would have been a problem. That would have been a problem. And wait a minute. He outsped me. He outsped me. I am not max speed. What am I thinking of here? Maybe I should look up the speed tiers. Because I could have sworn Lucario was base 90. Is Porygon Z base 92 and I've just been lying to myself this entire time? That would be ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to look it up right here. I don't normally do this. I don't normally look up stuff during the battle because I feel like that kind of just takes away from stuff. Lucario is base 90. Porygon Z is also base 90. Okay, so I just screwed that up and he won a speed tie. Uh, but we did get the lucky burn. Um, and I kind of just didn't commentate on what just happened there, which I probably should explain. Uh, I decided to switch into Trevenant because I figured he would opt for the fighting type move there. And uh, he did, and the burn ended up killing him, which we got a little bit lucky that we got a burn there in the first place. He probably was carrying Dark Pulse, so he probably just could have killed me there or did a lot of damage. I'm especially defensive, so he probably wouldn't have killed me, but it would have done a lot of damage. So, yes, that's, that's that. That was a really long-winded thing. I don't think I took a breath in, like, two minutes. So he goes out into Tails, which is a great nickname for a Floatzel. And I don't think I want to stay in here because, yeah, I just don't. It's a Floatzel. He's probably going to, like, Ice Punch me or something. So I'm just going to go into Mermina. And he opts to go for the Crunch. It's possible he's not carrying the Ice Punch. Uh, that does a lot of damage. Wow. That's a lot to a physically defensive uh, Vaporeon from a Floatzel. That is probably Choice Banded. Uh, now, I'm kind of tempted to just click Scald here. He can very easily switch in his Meganium for free. Uh, but I could get a Lucky Burn and maybe force him to go for an Aromatherapy. No, he goes into TJ, the shiny Umbreon. And 
That is going to do just about nothing and a half, and we do get the burn again, but he's going to synchronize the burn onto us, which is a bit unfortunate, because this turn we may just all trade uh, heal bells, <laughs> honestly, just to get rid of uh, the burns. So I don't know if you want to call that a lucky burn or not, but we did kind of have the rolls go in our favor because we got a really lucky burn on the Lucario with try attack of all things, too. Uh, let's see. I would really like to go into Crookedile just to taunt this thing because then all it could do is foul play me and I resist that. Unless he's carrying something else. I guess this could be offensive Umbreon. I guess it could be. Um, but he can't really do anything to Mianchao either, so I can just go in and start, like, high jump kicking things. Or U-turn. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. think that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna switch out Vaporeon. In comes Minquando. I love Banded Mianchao. It's just so much fun to use. He does opt to go for the Wish over the Heal Bell. I don't know if he'd want to try to pass this into anything. I'm kind of tempted to just click U-turn here because it's super effective on this if he leaves it in. And I'll get momentum if he decides to switch out. Uh, he's not going to switch Floatzel in, I don't think. Because if I go for a high jump kick, it's just dead. He is going to withdraw. Okay, we'll see what he wants to go into here. It's going to be Trixie. I don't think we've seen this yet. Oh, it's the Meow Stick. Okay, shiny Meow Stick. The white and gold. Beautiful. We'll see how much this does. And was that a critical hit? That was not even a critical hit! Are you freaking kidding me? I know that thing is frail, but my goodness! Mianxiao, calm down! That's just an Oko on a non-stab move. That's insanity. That is straight up insanity. So he loses his wish. I wonder if... I don't know. I'm trying to think, like... Is it really that frail, or did we just get lucky with a high roll there? I have no idea. No idea. It's a shame because I really wanted to see that do something. Like, I kind of wanted it to just kill Crobat or something. Just to see, just to say that freaking Meowstic female got a kill in the match. In a UU match. So that's out of the way. Uh, to be fair, I, I guess that wasn't going to do too much to my team. Because Crobat outspeeds it anyway. I mean, I guess he could have just hit it with like a, a psychic switching in or something. If I got really stupid and switched in Crobat on it. So out comes Tails. And this does not outspeed me, because it's not Choice Scarf. This thing is ridiculously fast. Most people would never put a Choice Scarf on this. He's probably banded. So I feel kind of okay just attacking this thing. Or should I should I switch out predicting the Water-type move and go into Mermina and then uh, use that to get off a Heal Bell? I feel like that's kind of a lot, because we definitely have an advantage here. I'm just going to go for U-Turn. And at least not take the damage. So now we can go into Vaporeon and we get some damage off on this thing. So yeah, the heart switch is completely unnecessary. I don't even know why I was considering it. Uh, yeah, we'll just go into Vaporeon. That's really my only play. This thing does a lot of damage to the other things on my team. So he does go for the waterfall that's going to activate our water absorb. And with lefties and the burn, we're going to be still at like 90% of our health or so. Something like that. Maybe a little bit less than that. But we can Heal Bell this turn if we want. We can Scald. Um, he has Meganium and Umbreon left. So really, this is the only offensive Pokemon remaining. Once this is gone, Mianchao just comes out and kills everything. Or Porygon Z, even. Porygon Z, two it KOs, uh, Meganium. And I'm pretty sure if we can get a special attack boost, it just two it KOs Umbreon, too, which is... That's a feat in itself. If you're 2-hit KOing Umbreon with a non-super effective move, that's pretty impressive. So Umbreon is a fat sack of potatoes. Yes, it is. So let's see. What is the play here? I think just Scalding or Heal Bell are my options. Switching makes no sense. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Heal Bell. He is going to withdraw because he's locked into Waterfall. Pretty sure this is Choice Band. And he does go into the Meganium. Which uh, makes the most sense, because he probably is carrying the aromatherapy uh, in case I got the burn, and he resists Scald, and he can Giga Drain me, and all of those kinds of things. So burn is gone, Lefties gets us up to like 95% of our max HP, and we're in a great position here. We're in a fantastic position here, that Umbreon has a status on it, 
and we're up six to three at the moment. I'm gonna go into Crobat because I'm expecting a Giga Drain here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And he just does go for the Dragon Tail again, which is the same thing that happened last time this Mechanium was out. Uh, and he goes into Mianxiao again. Mianxiao just loves to come out on those Dragon Tails. So now, uh, it's at full health. I don't know. I don't think a high jump kick kills. Just because this is a Meganium, even if it's specially defensive. Although, he did have the Umbreon, and that's probably specially defensive. So this is probably physically defensive. That would make sense. So we're probably better off just clicking U-turn again. So that's what I'm going to do. Most of the time, I'm just clicking U-turn with this, and that does so much damage. Jeez. Mianxiao, banded Mianxiao is so powerful, it's ridiculous. Um, so, he's probably going to go for Dragon Tail again, I guess. I can't really stop that. I guess I can just go back into Crobat in case he decides to Giga Drain me. Or Leech Seed, I suppose. He does just go for the Giga Drain, and that does more than I expected it to. Is that a crit? It was. I was like, there's no way it does that much. Is that offensive Meganium? Um, which I guess could be a thing. It'd be pretty cool to see. It's offensive stats are terrible, but still. So yeah, he shows off the lefties there, and he just dies to a Brave Bird at this point. He may even die to a U-turn, but I'm going to go for Cross Poison, because I don't want to take the recoil, and this should still kill, and it does. So Meganium is out of the way. He's got his Floatzel, which Crobat outspeeds, and the Umbreon left. So Floatzel can't really do anything to Vaporeon, so I think we may have this in the bag. Because we're up 6-2 to two at this point. That's quite an advantage. I mean, I don't want to count him out at all because I just don't. I just don't. I don't want to take my foot off the gas because that's, that's when you start messing up. So we need to go to the very end. And that U-turn does a lot. Oh, that's a critical hit. I was about to say, geez, the crits are flying left and right right now. So that does a lot of damage to this poor little Umbreon, and I guess his play would be to Wish here. He probably predicted the U-turn, and I guess I can just go into Crocodile and taunt him, or I could go into, let's see, what else? I could just go into Mianxiao, because Mianxiao just kills everything that's left, I think. Oh, wait, no, I don't outspeed. I don't outspeed freaking Floatzel, so we're going out into Crocodile. Get a meaningless Intimidate off, and he does go for the foul play, which is going to do absolutely nothing. Yeah, that does, like, less than nothing. He's going to get his lefties, and he didn't roost. Uh, not roost. Yeah, Umbreon carrying roost. That's where my head is at right now. Great job. I, I guess I can just taunt you, but I'm going to EQ because I think I can kill you. Because I am invested in my attack. So, yeah, and I'm life orb. So, yeah, you're going down. Goodbye, Umbreon. And all he has left is the Floatzel. So that's pretty cool. And at this point, since his only Pokemon is Floatzel, he's going to have to lock himself into something. Uh, there's really no reason for me to switch out. I easily could preserve a 6-0 right now if I wanted to, I guess. But I'm not going to be that guy because that is being a poor sport, honestly. There's no reason to do that. He does lock himself into Ice Punch because that's probably his best coverage move. And it still just KOs me because he's Choice Banded. So down goes the Crocodile. And now I can go out into basically anything I want. I don't think he can Oko anything. I mean, maybe Trevenant. But I'm not going to just go out and let him kill it for no reason. I'll just go out into Crobat. We can click Brave Bird. And Floatzel doesn't have a lot of bulk. So I highly doubt he's going to take this, and I think that's going to be a wrap. Uh, yeah, down goes Tails the Floatzel. Glad to see it uh, get some action and pick up a kill, because Floatzel's pretty cool. It's been a while since I've used one. I don't even remember the last time I used a Floatzel. I know I have, though. I know I've used one on the channel. I need to bring it back. So many Pokemon I need to bring back, and so many new Pokemon I need to use. I just want to use everything, basically. Um, so that's going to be it for this time. Thank you very much for the match, TJ. Uh, looking forward to the next one, of course. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, of course. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.